what is big data, what is data science, and how the big data science is working, right? So shall we continue on that way, or we'll move to the directly to the data science? What's your opinion? So who is in the call? You can just uh, tell me. What is a big data? Okay, we'll move to the big data science. Then it's good. Fine. So let's understand about the data science big picture. We we'll just. I'm just opening the file just in a moment. Okay, so I started recording the sessions. We'll move back to the uh, the points what we're discussing. Okay, so let's understand about what is data science. It's all about. Okay, it end to end we'll understand about the what is data science. So the data science, which is the one of the field of science where it is a combination of, it is nowhere related to big data. Data science is nowhere related to Hadoop, but data science is nowhere related to any other technology like a dotnet or python or R, okay so it's a data science is a different field of science where it's a combination of max max and statistical machine learning traditional it is like interdiscipline traditional research hacking skill and substitute uh, substantive expertise so this combination of things will comes into the data science okay where this uh, the big data will be part of this particular data science is it will be a part of your data science middle portion the big data also comes into the middle portion it is a combination of statistical combination of machine learning combination of traditional data research combination of substitute expertise so everything will comes into the picture that is a field of data science okay big data is another field Hadoop is one of the tool. Big data is not the software. Big data is one of the platform. Similarly, data science is there. Overall, all the technology comes into the picture. That's called data science. Clear on this image? Any questions on this? Uh, hi Mani, this is Rakesh here. Rakesh. Yeah, I had a question regard related to this hacking skills. Does that mean uh, about the ethical hacking skills which we need to know? Okay, can you repeat your question? That's what I'm not okay. Uh, question related to the hacking skills which is mentioned in the Venn diagram. Yeah. Okay. So that hacking skill, what does that mean? Uh, do we need to be a hacker? No, no, no. This hacking skill is totally different concept. Okay, one second. I'll just move to that slide. Okay. So I just want to show this diagram before going to that that one. See, if you are working on a science field, okay, each people they find some invention kind of way, right? Similar way, data scientist or data analyst, there are data analyst, they, they are data programmer is there. Similar way, people who find the existing fact based on the fact, okay, they are going to find a solution for that. This data science field, 
it's a combination of little bit of machine learning combination of little bit of hacking skill combination hacking here means how to possibly you can able to quickly complete the data it's not ethical hacking it's not about the complete uh, Ill illegal hacking it's all about data hacking or maybe it's like a data processing this ethical hacking or kind of things you have to understand in a data processing manner okay hacking means the tips and tricks kind of way you are just uh, exploring more into data that's where you have to take into that sense for this diagram same data zeros and ones or each field each domain have their own data right so these data need to be find a solution in an effective way based on that you have to analyze the data then you have to come into the picture of the data science so this data science can be each people can have their own perspective right the predictive analytical predictive analytical is combination of your hadoop all these things but here the data science field it is a combination of more into statistical oriented okay they will find a high level of solution high level of solution where somebody like a google search is created or maybe a facebook is created so how they are creating somebody's similar kind of architect they will creating the tools right similar way data science field you have to first analyze the all the combination the danger zone what is the opposite direction the danger zone if you are exposing the data into the public the public side of social media data right so those things also need to be analyzed the hacking skill how people will hack my data okay if i'm if i'm doing the data analytical if somebody hack my data what will be the problem is going to happen to my solution how to stop that so those kind of way you have to think through that this hacking skill if somebody is a data scientist level or data analytical level they need to have a little bit of skill of if somebody is hacking because these data set parabytes of parabytes of data right in futuristically if you have done one solution on the data analytical field later some people will hack, hack to your data and you will be loose of parabytes of parabytes of your own company information right so there you have to do a blocking of all the data analytical side and hacking skill also a little bit required on when you perform in the data analytical predictive analytical whenever you are using data comes into picture hacking skill also it is required to understand how to block the data from our uh, our analytical work to the other people to so blocking the data kind of so this skill also is required hacking skill means you are not going to hack the hack the others others uh, data but your own data you are going to safeguard but if you need to aware how other people will hack your data without understanding you cannot build a very big uh, solution for a global level clear yeah many okay so we'll uh, we'll deeply understand about what data science scientist will do data scientist a person who better at the statistics than any other software engineer a better at the software engineer than any science statistic that is a real definition that we can say okay the data scientists who along they are growing like a like a software engineer senior software engineer uh, test uh, maybe it's a project manager similar way they are growing right similar way who is coming from the basic software engineer to understanding the field of machine learning understanding the field of statistical knowledge understanding the field of data science hadoop engram all the technology a uh, combination of technology they have understand they are exploring many work many project over there they can become a data scientist okay so we'll deeply understand what data scientists will do what others will do go by one by one okay okay so th the data scientist will be a combination of business person okay data scientist will create a new business or a new technology those are like a combination of your domain knowledge you should have a software engineering knowledge you need, you should need to do a coding you should need to more into data science you should need to more into statistical distributed computing if you are into that kind of field you can become a data scientist in a 5 to 6 years of time that's a minimum uh, exploration time okay so the what is the data science role we have to understand what is the data science role in the it industry okay 
first thing the combination of the block you have to understand so what are the fields we studied we studied about the machine learning big data programming statistical so these kind of technology will be more into comes into the picture okay if you are seeing the box size okay if you are seeing the box size if you are a data business person you will be more into business knowledge and then machine learning little bit knowledge and mathematics skill little bit knowledge programming is very little bit and statistical having some knowledge it is a combination of domain expert data scientist app developer apps all the combination it will come to the picture if you are a data creative it's like a data analytical people then they will have business knowledge is little bit and combination of big data like a data developers right they will be more into development side okay data coding they will do more and then machine learning little bit programming they will do more and statistical knowledge so this is the second skill they have it is required okay and data developer a data developer should be kind of a uh, little bit of business knowledge more into big data field knowledge and then mathematical skill machine learning skill programming skill so each field will have more if you are become a data researcher your business knowledge will be limited and then the, you'll be more into machine learning and then the mathematical uh, skills and programming bit and more into statistical way of people okay these combination of people approach only data scientists role a data scientist need to be one time they have to be their combination of business person they are data developer one side they are a researcher you have to cross this path first you have to cross as a data business person you have to data creative person and then data developer person data research person then only you can become a data scientist pro okay and many people what we are doing in the it industry we are only working on the programming skill on the big data field okay only the programming skill of adobe environment high environment or ping or school what are the technology we are we are working it's a very small portion of your data analytical part and if it is for data scientist level more into uh, statistical oriented mathematical oriented machine learning oriented and business combination so this is called data science field clear any questions on this anybody has any question hello hi this is subramanian yes subramanian uh how essential is the max and statistical knowledge for uh, data scientist for data scientist uh, instead of mathematical knowledge more into statistical knowledge is required so they they'll be play major role so for example you know day to day life if you're working eight hours job in a programming okay and data scientists or data scientists they'll work for 6 hours on their statistical level of knowledge and 2 hours on the programming or other business meetings all those things so that means you have to understand how much of the statistical value they use on a day to day life on a data scientist role statistical will be a most widely commonly used on their daily jobs almost 60 to 70% they use Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, thanks. So, so the curriculum also uh, when we learn data science, uh, uh, statistics also should be a part of the curriculum, right? Or yes, definitely it should be a part of the curriculum. So it will be combination of machine learning with the data science. Uh, data science is different. Data science is different. Data scientist is different. Okay, to uh, how to develop is different. Okay. Hadoop developer, you should need to learn the high speed, Scoop, Spark, Scala, HBase, and then this kind of tools. Okay, high, 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 MapReduce, Quick, Scoop, Spark, Scala. This is what become a Hadoop developer. You want to become a data analyst or data scientist in a way. You have to complete this Hadoop developer of high speed, Scoop, Spark, Spark, Scala, and all. 
then you have to move to, uh, towards on the machine learning software like a python r uh, machine learning software like a spark mlib mahout i uh, h2o all this kind of big data machine learning algorithms you should be well versed then you have to be become a statistical person so you should have a combination knowledge of statistical person statistical knowledge machine learning knowledge hadoop big data knowledge then data analytical knowledge combination of this will take for you to 5 years of time to learn explore all this field of science okay is not like a one month you are doing course or one year you are working can cannot become a data scientist it will take years to years together if you need to become a researcher over there on this particular field you have to be sme subject matter expert uh, on the you should be a, you should be top understanding on this technology you should need to provide able to provide a solution then only you can become a data scientist so you have more knowledge on the statistical more knowledge on the r programming python big data field combination of little bit max then more into business solution knowledge data domain knowledge so to start with the uh, um uh, can i start like python and uh, algorithm knowledge can i contribute something on the data science yes definitely can do that okay okay thank you look so this data science field you cannot directly get a job okay data science it's a different field of combination okay it's an interdisciplinary field if somebody is trying like a, i want to become a software engineer they can choose either dotnet or java right similar way first you have to explore your your uh, job knowledge into a hadoop developer okay like a learning these basic tools then after you enter into a company you have to explore into additional tools like a machine learning tools and combination of statistical tool python or you should be explore on that then you can gradually in two years of down line three years of down line you can become a learning the other combination of tools then you can become a data scientist you cannot be what i mean is it should not start in the first okay ignoring all the hadoop tools ignoring all other things you cannot just start like a okay i'm going to start r programming and machine learning algorithm and the combination of statistical you can get the knowledge you can become a data science knowledge but the job opportunities will be very less if you are just choosing the r statistical or a little bit of programming knowledge okay the combination of field you have to try it out so the best combination should be uh, become the hadoop developer first enter into a company and explore additional field on that same field of science clear If somebody is going to do only the research based project then they can do that python and r and then combination of the statistical knowledge so if you work if you are trying to work for an it company go ahead with the hadoop developer then combination of machine learning algorithms python and r statistical oriented way that should be a, your right combination we move to the next slide anybody has any question yeah hi mani i have a question yeah. uh related to this statistics and mathematics uh, actually my background is of a engineer i'm an engineer so is there any concise way i mean any document or only necessary to the data science subjects i'm not getting the question so you are from a different background what? you want some material for this or i'm not getting the deal any book or anything on math and statistics yeah, yeah, is I'm related to, to i'm going to show the in that i'm going to show the book okay. how to read i'm going to share the books also i'll share the books yeah yes yeah. thank you okay let's move on to the uh, the other combination of uh, stuff thanks okay so next question should be is a data science need to do you need to know how to do coding right so what combination of coding uh, should be a data scientist need to know that's a real question 
So now we will understand about what is the technology of core you have to learn. The first thing is high level you need to understand about Python or Julia. So these are the high level code you have to understand. And low level should be combination of Java, Scala and C++ or Go. These are the combination of tools that should be a data scientist should need to know. Clear? So more into Python, more into R and some kind of high level of Java and Scala. This four tool is enough for you to the current technology. Clear? What combination of tools you have to do? These people like a data scientist, they will not come and sit in your organization and do the code every day from morning to evening. They are not a developers. Data scientists are not a developers. They are like a technical architect. Okay, in your organization, is that your technical architect is daily sitting with you along with your software developer and doing the code? No, right? Similar way, data scientist, data architect are different people. They will provide the solution for the entire architect level or enterprises level, they will provide the solution. Clear? Okay, so we'll understand about the how much of the data science need scientists need to be comfortable with the mathematics and statistical. It's a very good question. Okay, let's let's move to that skill. See the mathematical skill the the data scientists need to aware about more into linear algebra, calculus, graph theory, probability and combinatorial combinatory this kind of way you have to understand about the mathematical skill it's not only really constrained to this similar to this list you have to focus and statistical analysis you have to be more into distribution binomial and poisson etc and then you should need to have a knowledge on the summary statistical mean median mode variance etc and hypothesis testing and uh, Bayesian analysis okay so these are the, some of the basic statistical knowledge and mathematical knowledge you have to try to explore on this particular field of science. Clear? Any questions on this? So not only this constraint, it is the first level of knowledge purpose we have selected and then provided the list. So the next one, data scientists to know machine learning or software engineering. What is the level of machine learning knowledge they should need to have and what is the software engineering stuff they have to have? Okay, that question we'll understand. So in the machine learning, they should need to understand more into the, the data scientist. I'm talking about the data scientist. In machine learning, they need to understand about the supervised learning. It's called SEM random forest, these are the algorithms you have to understand. And um, unsupervised learning, k-means, LDA, those kind of concepts, they have to be very well versed. And NLP, information retrieval the algorithms, they should be understand. Natural, natural language processing, NLP means text to voice, voice to text. And validation, model, compression, comparison. So these kind of way, they have to be well versed on the machine learning algorithms, machine learning software tools, they need to understand. That's day-to-day -day life, they'll do the machine learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, all these things. And software engineering, the knowledge they should need to have more into algorithm and data structure, data visualization, data monitoring, and distributed computing knowledge. This kind of way, they have to be understand all the technology. They, the data center should be a combination of all, they are the top people of data science, data analytical field. They should need a combination of software engineering, they should need a software, they should have the knowledge of data scientists, uh, data, statistical knowledge, mathematical skill, programming skill, machine learning skill, all the skills should need to be there into that particular field. Clear? Yeah. 
Any questions? So next we'll understand learning a data science how to learn a data science okay so let's go to some kind of books okay so before going to that I want to show some metro diagram okay so this is the way you have to start your learning the first thing is you have to understand about your fundamental okay in the fundamental you have to be understand metrics linear algebra hash functions binary tree Rational, rational algebra, DP basics, inner and outer joints. So these are the way you have to start. OLAP, shading, multidimensional data model, ELT, those kind of way you have to kick start. And if you need to be become the uh, probability theory, Bayes theorem, random variable, uh, skewness, ANOVA table. These are statistical way. So these are the first level you have to understand. Okay. And go to the second number. Where is the second number? Combination of second numbers here okay the green okay so when you are coming over there starting from the blue line the pick the data set describe descriptive statistical mean median mode all the blue color should be second one okay and third technology will come into the uh, the factor analysis reading the data list factor array matrix vector variable all the combination okay then it will come to the your fourth machine learning what is machine learning, numerical variable, catalog variable, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, concept, input, clustering, classification, prediction, trees classification, decision tree, boosting, k-means, k-nearest neighbor, ranking, linear stuff, regression. These are the main important concepts of your second level. And fifth one is you have the knowledge on the text mining, NLP, Corpus, all the technology on the text mining related side okay and the sixth one should be combination of visualization of data exploration of R, ggplot, histogram, tree and tree map, scatter plot, linear chart okay so timeline these are the statistical tableau all this kind of com combination you have to be understand okay first should be fundamental second should be programming so one second, just come. So sixth is visualization, and the seventh should be where is the seventh? One second. Okay, seventh will be here. Name, data, node, set up the Hadoop. HDFS, Hadoop components, all those things. Okay, so here eight should be your uh, data injection. So there you have to find the data discovery, data source, data Instagram, all the combination you need to understand. Data survey, how much of data, combination of that. Then you have to uh, find, uh, ninth should be data mooning. So these will be combination of the uh, extraction oriented. Then it is a normalization, data scrubbing, all the techniques will come from the picture. And tenth is the, you have the knowledge on the Java, Python, R Studio, uh, Beka, Rapid Miner, Hadoop Distributed, uh, Spark and Storm, Plume and uh, uh, Scribe, uh, Chakwa, Nudge, all the technologies you need to be well versed on that. Then only you will become a hundred percent. So when you are just the fundamental level, if you are there, you are just a fifteen percent of your Stuff. If you are now the machine learning, you are just learning the knowledge of the 30% of the data scientists. If you are aware of the regression, statistical knowledge, all this way, then your combination of 50% of the stuff. Natural language process, all visualization, data in, in, in investigation, data mooning. So if you are just specified, it will be an 80%. So all the combination of Python or Java, all the combination of events you come, you become a 100 percentage of your data scientist role. Clear on this? Any question?
are you getting this first one is the fundamentals statistical programming machine learning nlp then combination of your visualization data injections data mining and then toolbox of your uh, programming knowledge all the combination should be well versed okay so let's move now how to study in the hadoop environment what are the books you have to refer i'll go to the some of the books okay just give me a moment i'll just log into my google drive Okay, so to understand some more technology about the data science, you need to understand this particular diagram. Okay, if you are into uh, more into data analytical side, then the last column, Hadoop environment, Spark and Scala, Java combination, then you need to understand. And the visualization side, we have to understand Cognos, Tableau, ggplot2, all the combination you need to understand on the visualization side. And then data data modeling side, you need to understand more into SPSS tool, Vika, R tool, Revolution Analytical, Panda, Python, Mahout, Pig, all the uh, technology you have to understand. And exploratory analysis, you have to understand the Elasticsearch, the name, all those things. Data transformation tool like the I conversion tool of ELT, ETL tool, scoop tool you have to understand. And storage tool is the Pocket SQL, HBase, all the technology like HTFS, MongoDB, Crescentra, this kind of combination you need to understand for you want to become a learn through this big data, data science field. Okay, so more into R and Python, combination of all those things, combination of Hadoop, combination of visualization, combination of machine learning, combination of explorer analysis, transformation, storage data, all the tools you have to understand to become a data scientist, traffic manager, all these things are good to it. Clear? Any questions? Okay, so now we'll understand some of the books. Okay, some of the books need to be understand for your Hadoop development side. The first thing is you have to go to the Hadoop folder. I'll share this folder. So under the Hadoop folder, you have to go to Hadoop Definitive Guide. Okay, so Hadoop Definitive Guide is one of the guide where you can able to understand about end-to-end -end technology of Hadoop. It's 805 pages of book. Okay. 
So Hadoop technologies you have to understand based on the combination. <coughs> Are you clear? First book, what is you have to study? Hadoop, definitely guy. Okay. Uh, hi, Manidhi Subra. One question. Yeah. Uh, is it still relevant to understand in deep on uh, MapReduce uh, because now new technologies are evolving and uh, mostly we are not using MapReduce. So how part of MapReduce even now? No, even if they nowadays uh, they are not using uh, in there, you have to understand the concept. It is like our OOPS concept. Okay. Even somebody is doing a program on day to day life, they, they are not even using the OOPS concept also. They have to understand that it's a fundamental of your data science, fundamental of your Hadoop. They have to undergo that method only. You have to know what is MapReduce. You should know how to do a MapReduce program. Okay, thank you. So, first book is Hadoop Definitive Guide. Okay. So that's one book you have to understand. Second book you can understand the Hadoop tutorial point. That's an open source tool, open source book. You can download and then you can study that. Okay. That should be your second book. There will come MapReduce, HDFS concept, HDFS overview. All those things will come into picture. Okay. So after that, you have to go to the, the second uh, book what you have to study is. Um, I'll put this combination. The professional Hadoop solution. Okay, so this this should be your second book. First is the definite guide, and second book should be Hadoop professional Hadoop solution. So this could be your second book of studying. Okay, so in the folder if I have thousands of books, don't study all the books. Select the choose the right book to ensure that you are getting a right knowledge. Okay. If somebody share the Google Drive or somebody share the Google book, don't go through all the books. Pick the right books. And then she should know how to study the books. You cannot be able to study 800 pages, right? She didn't know how to read the index. She didn't know how to do the combination of notes. She need to know what are the topics you have to study and what, how to refer other books. Where to refer the Google book. Based on that, you have to start studying that. Okay, so only for Hadoop, two books is referred. One is the professional Hadoop solution, and then second one is the, the, the first one is the Hadoop definitive guide. These two books is more than enough for you to, to become a Hadoop understander. Okay, some other book I'll tell you a little later. So, uh, some of the other books is also required. So, the, later I'll tell you. Okay. Clear on this, only two books study on the Hadoop side. And once you've done that, for Hive, there is a Hive definitive guide will be there. Okay? So it's not there here. Let me, uh, let me share that here. Programming Hive. This is good. So Programming Hive, Data Warehousing and Query Language of Hadoop. It's similar to our SQL Server. So Programming Hive, JSON, that book you have to, orally book you have to study. Second book. That means Hive is first book. Should for a third book you study on the data science book. After you've done the, your hive, you have to go to your Spark. Spark, I have the different collections of book. I'll uh, go to that folder. Just a moment. For high, we have to go for programming in high. Programming in high, overly book. The author is specified here. Jason D. Edward. Programming high. And also we have the tutorial point book that also can refer as a second book. Okay? So these are open source books. This is not required. 
this book only two book is enough for five okay then you have to go come for a learning spark spark book you have to learn this orally book learning spark lightning fast of data analytics spark is the 100 times faster than the hadoop okay so this is a very good book for your spark so this should be your fourth book on your desktop you need to take into shortcut for understanding first is hadoop definitely guy and i spark learning spark this is a book orally book okay and fourth one you have to come to the programming in pip this is a orally book alan gates so this is for first you understand the hadoop then you understand the hai then you understand the spark then you coming to picture of pip software alan gates so this book is a very good book for understanding for your pip software okay understanding the grant model understanding the pip data model uh, all the fundamental things you can do programming you can do to program with pip book okay so this is your fifth book okay after you gone to the pip let us go to the scoop tool okay apache scoop cook book this is another good tool good book okay apache scoop cook book orally so this book you have to go through for to to do a programming related on these scope import export of sql server oracle all this combination okay so that should be your sixth book after reading that scope book you have to come to the touch base head space definitely guide so this is the book you have to understand for head space okay last big george so this is the head space definitive guide it should be a seventh book for your data science or hadoop developer whatever the way you want to learn okay so that should be your seventh book after understanding the head space you have to go to the scala book go to the scala so scala books so this is your learning scala orally book jason uh, sparks this should be your learning scala good book this is a good book for your scala should be your eighth book after learning the scala that will learn through on the data science using the oracle so some problem one second Okay, I just uh, share this book. Try to go to the uh, data predictive analytical all those things. Okay, the data science. Some of the data science book I'll share with you. That should be your SPSS statistical analytical. So these are the right books for you to the to become a data scientist. Okay, I'll share this book. I'll just read, download, and then I will share that. Okay. So once we've done that. once you done that should you study the other book called uh, no this one spark scala scala you done that right so then you have to move to the your machine learning book sir i have already shared that how to do the hadoop installation on the on your linux machine so this is your step by step guideline so first you have to go through the ubuntu software you have to download through universal usb installer you have to copy that iso file of your usb of your ubuntu file into your usb and then convert into a bootable usb drive 
once you've done that you have to start installing through the pen drive model change the bias setting and then start installing once you've done that your linux will be installed you have to install alongside of your windows 7 that's model you have to choose there is an option is there alongside of your windows so you have to choose that once you've done that it will comes into the picture of linux will be installed then you have to kick start your we skip five, five, six pages and start from your this page. Okay. So once you install the single node Hadoop Ubuntu, you just download the Hadoop version from the Apache.org. That's why if you have specified Hadoop download URL, Hadoop.apache.org. There you have to directly download all the files. Once you've done that, once you unzip the tar file, you have to go to the terminal window and type this command. You have to create a user ID, you have to unzip the file of the Hadoop. Once you've done that, you have to create a SSH host without password. Activate the SSH, like an IAS server. SSH server is the here the uh, similar to our IAS server. Okay. SSH keygen iPhone T R S A P. That is the command you have to type. So similarly you have to follow the instruction and you have to disable the IPv6. It's running under the IPv4. Once you've done that, you have to configure these three files, code site.xml, map site.xml, hdfs site.xml. Okay. So these three files you have to, let me go to that page. So these three files you have to configure. You don't need to configure anything, you just copy paste the, the configuration what is specified. So map red site is just copy paste. hdfs site, you have just copy paste. Then you have to go to the, your root directory, bas hrc.sh open that and specify where you are install your Hadoop path Hadoop home directory configure this settings then you just start with your Hadoop name node iPhone format then you start all iPhone.sh Hadoop environment is started if you want to do the Hadoop Java program then you do the through the Eclipse so this is your Hadoop combination then if you want to install the Mac machine I given the Mac machine instructions how to do the uh, install the Hadoop on the Mac machine so if you want to install the other model, like a Linux model or any other uh, virtual box model, you can install through this document. Clear? So learn th this way and there are some machine learning books I want to share with you. So this machine learning with Spark is a right good book. Okay, so machine learning with Spark, you can write the Spark MLIP programs using the machine learning. So that will provide the knowledge on the machine learning algorithm all those things okay so this is another good book for your machine learning okay so this is how you start learning on your uh, Hadoop side as well as the uh, all the technologies what you are trying to work clear uh, Python and R I tell you is the Python and R book I want to show you once again For Python and our book, there are quite a long books are there. Okay, so Python, I'll just tell you the uh, good books for Python. The tutorial point Python is a good book. We can just uh, learn through this uh, tutorial point uh, Python books. And then uh, there is another tool. It's not available here. 
don't go this uh, python for dummies and all it's very 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 slow learning kind of people and it's required i'll share the other books because i don't find that uh, python good books work here okay for python and r i'll share it to you okay but some of the good books are there on this uh, on this particular thing is python for machine learning there's one book i saw that's a good book here python machine learning somebody want to do the python machine learning program using python then they can refer this book sebastian book python machine learning that's a good book for them to want to come up python related machine learning i will go through only the uh, this book yeah it's here i got it so they definitely not so not this book tutorial point okay so this book is good for your python so if python definitely guide right is there then it is good if it is not other book don't go through other books okay so these are the some of the books you can just learn through uh, for your understanding so please learn this all the things oh large collection of books around 40000 books so i i just want to share some of the books maybe from my collection i'll just share it a uh, few books to all the people go through that and based on that you start learning this particular stuff once you done that path you can go to the advanced analytical path all those things okay So there are so many books good books are there you have to start learning over there okay so that should be your start point where of your i which way speak spark scoop scala on machine learning side python r these are the 10 languages 10 tools you have to learn to become a master in this field okay so with that note if anybody has any question please we'll discuss now for next 5 minutes of time then we'll wind up this webinar so today we covered about what is data science what are the books you have to study study okay there are other things i want to discuss maybe I, what is this what is data visualization all those things okay maybe i'll talk about that later anybody want to discuss with me anybody want to discuss anything anybody has any question so we'll try to answer for that uh, many i have a question yes uh related to this uh, uh, the question which i asked earlier related to mathematics and statistics hmm. so you said a uh, few things like linear algebra calculus summary statistics distributions so is there any one book related which gives the all this content Yes, I'll uh, share that book once again. Be online. Okay, thank you. for for r programming they have to use this uh, book called um, predictive analytical using r learning predictive analytical with r that's good book okay and practical graph mining with r if you want to become a data analytical or data scientist these are the books you have to study mastering predictive analytical predictive analytical side you have to be good okay so once you done that this uh, spss tool one one book will be there by like that this spss tool 
on data visualization this is more into statistical oriented book that book you have to study okay so spss2 so these are the some of the r book python book i will share this business analytical using r it's a good book business analytical using r spark on data science mastering predict analytical the r and the SPSS is statistical and detail. These four or five books is required for you to become an understanding about R and statistical. Okay, I'll share this link to you on this WhatsApp group. Anybody has any questions? So with that note, we'll just wind up for today. We'll wind up on the uh, next webinar session. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Mani.